by the time you go back to, to work, you've got so much to do and you don't really get to it. And as we know, uh, only a small amount of it sticks. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. And I've got Bill Carson again. G'day, Bill. Hi, John. Well, glad to be here. Thank you very much for inviting me. My pleasure, Bill. I already always delight in having you on the show and uh, you bring so much value to all our followers out there. I really appreciate it. I'm sure. Thanks they... very much, John. Hey, I uh, wanted to throw a question around. This is a question of, of training. And, and, you know, I've often said, you know, training's a waste of time. A lot of training just goes out through the window. But you mentioned that you've learned a lot and you've seen a lot of positive things happening during COVID yeah. related to training. Tell me what you mean by that. Well, um, a classic problem that existed pre-COVID with sales training is uh, let's do it uh, and we're going to fly everybody in, drive everybody in, do whatever we need to do and to maximise the investment of everyone being there, often it's two days. And as we know, you pour in the information and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff and then by the time you go back to, to work, you've got so much to do and you don't really get to it and as we know, uh, only a small amount of it sticks. But what I've been finding uh, with my clients with um, uh, during this COVID time is that what we've done is that we've, we've taken that two days of training and just broken it up into 90 minute um, Zoom sessions. And the most critical part is alternating a Zoom session one week with a coaching session the next week. And so small bite sized elements of content that are focused on and that the sales manager then can implement is really enabling the guys just to do you know, one small bit at a time and at fairly significantly lower cost. What they learn, learn is reinforced between yeah. those sessions and what they, uh, and, and their behavior can change in the way, we want, way they need exactly. to change the behavior to be more effective salespeople. Yeah. I, I agree, I found the same thing. I, I've had clients that we were running training courses and had training courses planned before COVID hit. We had to rethink the way we did them, like you did, broke it up into small chunks, uh, a, a, a sort of one and a half, two hour chunk every yeah. two weeks or so. And right. then, you know, most of my programs have reinforcement programs that the sales, yeah. person, uh, sales manager runs at the end over many months to try and reinforce the knowledge. Well, we just ran those in between each one of these sessions. Yeah. Works yeah. wonder. And they learn and they, they put it into practice yeah. and it becomes part of their culture, part of their way, way in which they sell. Yes, yes. And, you know, I think you know, one of the traps here is that, you know, as sales, we're always in a hurry, right? So it's like, oh, if I jam them all in and I fill them up with stuff, you know, they'll go out and off and hallelujah, they're all going to change. And it just doesn't happen. And all the research, you know, and from our own experience, it's all about small amounts of sort of uh, skill building and capability building. <clears throat> but it also... The, the really other critical piece too as well, John, is, is that it just kind of manages the bandwidth for us all. Because in amongst this kind of learning is we've still got our jobs to do. And so we can integrate it in small amounts and managers can you know, learn how to coach in small amounts as well. So I do, like the manager might have a group of 10. Uh, so let's say, so we do you know, three one week and then he does the other coaching with the other guys. And then we do some more content and then he does another group of three. So it's, it's cycling around all the time. It's not massively uh, complex for the individual. But the end result over a 12 month period versus doing all the training in one chunk would be so much uh, a better take up of, the, uh, of what we've learned, the okay, sales yeah. capabilities in this case. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Absolutely, John. Okay. Yep. I'm, I'm finding the same thing, Bill. Uh, I think there is, is certainly is place for getting people together and getting your team to get to know each other better and so on. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, no matter how much we've tried to do that on Zoom, there's, it, it's still you miss the, uh, the press, the flesh to, to really you know, have those, those informal chats and so on when you all get together. Absolutely. But from a training point of view, I'm, I believe you're absolutely right. Mm. Doing the small chunks spread over a lot of time 
and, and it's also a much more economical way for organisations to do it. They don't have to fly any, everybody in, put them up in hotels and, yeah. and so on and so forth. Uh, they can just quickly jump on Zoom or Teams or whatever they use uh, exactly. and uh, do an hour and a half with an instructor every uh, two or three weeks. I think it's yep. a great model. And uh, mm -hmm. if, if COVID's done anything good, this is one. You know, it's, exactly. It's, in fact, yeah. we have learnt how to better educate our people, how better train our salespeople particularly. Yes. Bill, yes. thank you very much. Um, yeah, thanks, John. You and I are in 100% agreement on this one. Um, yeah, we I certainly are, mate. Totally yeah, agree, and look, look forward to the next time we have a chat, Bill. Yeah, thanks very much, John.